Bone Draw McGraw. Uh, what's up, Polly Balooey? How's it going? Are you ready for more Fantasy Star 4? We arrived in Creep. It's the most yeah, this, this town is a bit crap. 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 And uh, if you remember right, Han didn't want us to come here. Or he wasn't so enthused about the idea. Oh, and also, yeah, in case you forgot, last episode we got a crazy awesome guy with us. He's anime as all hell. What am I doing? Do we want to put him in the front so he can talk about uh, shit? <laughs> No, I was I was his, just uh, trying to give give our viewers a, 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 a this is the village of Clue. We can see his there's Jack shit here message. And uh this is where Han is from. It's his his crappy little hometown. Han has gone home. Han, Han home. home. <laughs> ah ah That's what people come to this let's play for. All the best gone home kind of references you can think of. There have been two. There have been two. Uh, there will be more. We can get more, I think. Okay, well... Um, Squeeze that tapes, lemon! Mixtapes don't really uh, vector into this game, I don't think. Wow. Good one. <laughs> so, I, I do enjoy putting the mixtapes in the trash in that game. Where yeah. <laughs> Saya. Who's Saya? Thanks, uh, Saya. You're... You wrote Saint Saya fanfic. There you go. <laughs> A tremendous amount of smoke coming from the west. They just the the Mulcums were just you know, blazing it out. It's you shouldn't have even batted an eye. No, just it's business it's, as usual on Motavia. Or yeah, it's, it, or just like you know, giant castles appearing out of nowhere. No big deal. Don't worry about it. It happens. That man. Tanoe is north of here. It's Tanoe. I, I think it's Tanu, kind of like Canoe. Because, you know, N-O-E shouldn't make a new sound, but somehow it does in that word. The village's most successful citizen is Han. That's our claim to fame, guys! Han. <laughs> that, that college boy. He went there, he uses that mere $10,000 words. Like, book. Oh wait, I didn't notice you there, even though I was giving this expository dialogue about you. Huh! Maybe that's like a line he recited to say to tourists, you know, in the odd, um... Considering that you're disinherited, <laughs> you sure have some gall to stop by this house. He's got gall. He's got guile. <laughs> Step to him. He's a... academia... or file. There you go. Paul, the whole Paul, Paul, he just—I <laughs> love that he calls him Paul. It's my papa. Turned into a farm boy as soon as he came home. <laughs> it just falls apart. I want to use them there, magical science voodoo's to make the crops come back and the cows bang each other and. Ma. Ma, my feelings ain't gonna change none. <laughs> so you can actually, you can actually talk to the the shopkeeper um, from behind the cat the counter. I, oh, you can. Yeah. Like she doesn't try to sell you shit right here. Oh. Oh. Well, oh my god. You can, yeah, line yourself up. There, all right, there you go. Thanks to Hansen and the scientific literature that we have enough paper to burn for more than tonight. <laughs> Sometimes we use it for butt wiping paper. Yeah, that's right. We're going all in on the poop humor already. What, you expected something different from these? This guy? Oh, oh, here we go. Aww. Why is he so embarrassed about it? Like, why is he embarrassed to, like, be successful and have a fiancé? Guys, this this is my waifu. And she's just as equally surprised, she, but I think it's more of like, you? <laughs> and, and then you can't hear it, <laughs> but, she, but you can't hear it, Boner. You can't hear it, I, but she glowed there. I, yeah, I, I played the game enough times to know that she... <laughs> She's got a little sound effect for her glowing. 
Oh no, it's about the only thing I'm capable of doing. You see, I'm just a helpless woman, incapable, incapable of doing anything other than maybe cooking or caring for the children. Or making babies. <laughs> I don't think Han's up to it. Y your ball's gotta drop first. Maybe he can go learn some of that university science to make a little penile enhancement. Uh, I see where you're going with this. Maybe they can get some in Birth Valley. Well, it is called Birth Valley. And there's another sound effect. The sound effects are all just like sound effects <laughs> spells in battle, too. It, it's so... It's so cute. It's so, really cute. So this part of the game has the best, like, stupid shit in the books. It's a children's picture book. Run, Hedgehog, run! This is before Gotta Go Fast entered the lexicon. Look at this picture book. Biography of the great Professor Lubetz. Written by Professor Lubetz. Yes. I'm so great. A Day with Echo. Shoutouts to John Thayer. I know he loves that game. Oh my god. Stop it. <clears throat> the Bear Queen. I... I don't know. Yeah. That's just like, what? That doesn't sound like a children's picture book to me. The Golden Axe, Volume 3. I think that was actually meant to be an ad for Golden Axe 3, which wasn't out yet, by the way. Oh, really? Uh, the, the Ceramic Soldiers. Yeah, I'm not sure what that's supposed to be, either. Maybe it's a hint to, like, buy, like, ceramic gear while you're here. Maybe? Um, so, what's it's this? A, a ceramic gear's an Iedo, though, isn't it? How to Love and to Be Loved. wonder whose that is. Um, she probably listens to Delilah, too, if they had such a thing as a radio. Motavia, the present and future. It's like, of all of, like, everything in this freaking room, or, or in this house, why did it have to be... Oh, stop it. Stop it! <laughs> what a gigantic mirror! So, yeah, this... Aww, isn't that adorable? Like, ew, how dare you talk to me, you virgin? See, this is how they do math uh, in Fantasy Star World, is that they just write it out as words. So, who gets who gets to marry her first, Han or this kid? Uh, I think the kid's got more game. Probably. I just pooped in my seat. Oh, no. Oh, that's harsh. We're on. Spelling made easy. I wish they would have typoed that. I think we missed a bookshelf. Oh, we did we? Yeah. Which one? Far left. Oh yeah, that's right. The eight-armed ant and the six-legged spider. I... <laughs> Spoiled rabbit and the prairie of the prairies. Like I think that some of those. Are not. I think they were just on drugs. Yeah, because some of those don't make a whole hell of a lot of sense. Um. Here's a children's book: Goku versus Superman. <laughs> Who will win? It's Goku. It's Goku. Totally, it's Goku. Um, this so, old man's full of crap. He didn't go swimming anywhere. I'm gonna do just a. Uh. Had a bit? Like, let's see, like, we're heading to Mulcom next. Or Tono. Tono. We're heading to Tono next. Then to Mulcom. So we're gonna go ahead and buy a few things. Um, let's see, let's grab that little... No? 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 My um, also, are... also, you can go to Mulcom before it gets burned down, but basically all that happens is they don't let you in. Right, right. Which we'll see why. Uh, so... I'm going to go ahead and get out of here, because I don't think there's anything we need right now. Uh, right? Well, you can talk to that dog. Oh, oh, I bet that dog. I want to talk to the ducks. Get a load of that dog. What a fat little mutt. You're a nice person, Chaz. What a pig this dog is. This dog is a pig. There used to be seven more ducks, but the dog ate them all. Oh, no. 
Um, uh, let's wait a second. Do we upgrade now, or do, should we wait? I, well, you've got Rune, so he yeah, can that's a good spells point. on a lot of the stuff in the next dungeon. Yeah, that's a good point. Save a little cash. Also, um, you know about the trick you can do with his cane in battle, right? No, no. What is that? Okay. Well, um, well, you can tell me while we do it. So we're heading north? Yes. Alright, well, you can tell me all about the trick that we can do with this cane. I was about to say we're not going to get in the battle, but... Um, here we go. <laughs> so be it. Okay. Uh, you can actually, like, this goes back uh, all the way to, I want to say, Fantasy Star 2, where you can use certain items in combat, and they will have an effect. But the game never tells you this. You just kind of have to experiment with it. So, right. I wonder what this does. Who am I using it on? Well, it's, I guess it doesn't really matter now, but... <laughs> oh, is it a heal? Yeah, it's a heal. Oh, okay. Well, uh, okay. Well, okay, I guess I'll demonstrate it since this is a Let's Play and these things work better on showing than telling, so... Because, you know, you're, you're totally going to glean a YouTube comment and plus you turn those things off that says, Well, you know, at this part, you could have actually used a hard word in me. That's exactly how uh, the voice that I read YouTube comments in, by the way. And that's actually what the comments say. I mean, th there may be words there in English, but after you get towards a certain point, just your brain just parses a bunch of gibberish. The whack. So we're, we're fighting some uh, some Star Wars monster knockoffs um, from the Mos Eisley Cantina. Which makes sense. This is a sci-fi RPG. And uh, Rune actually has, well, aside from having, like, health out the ass, he's got a higher strength stat than anybody in your party. Well, I mean, he's level 17. Just look at him. Yeah. He's roided out. Yep. He's he's our he's our heaviest hitter at the moment. That's my senpai. That's my senpai. That's my senpai. Boop. Senpai and son. <laughs> Da, 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 da. Um, but yeah, the grass spell, um, the animation on it is like, you can see it clearly squashing the monster, so it's like, um, pretty good indicator that's supposed to be a gravity-based attack, but in Fantasy Star 2, it's more of like a, like, just two rays shooting into the distance thing, it's just kind of really more generic. <laughs> yeah. So, like, this entrance is blocked. That's kind of a bummer. Why don't you move the stones? Roll the stone away! Roll with them the stones! Of Guys, no. remember, I'm a badass, okay? Flally! Flally! There you go. <laughs> that art he used, the technique's different too. What are you talking about, dude? Like, what are you doing? Oh, yeah, that's what they call magic. Excuse you. Sorry. We're gonna go into the valley maze. No, well, there you go. We're gonna keep this thing high class. So basically, okay, these are sand newts. Just, just sand. saying their name to have it out there. Sand newt Gingrich. There you go. Kind of do look like Newt Gingrich. So this, um, if you haven't already noticed, is probably a good place to do a little grinding if you need to, because you can basically, like, without any effort at all, just use runes, high level, crazy ass magic to run back and forth. Um, and depending on our situation, I don't, I don't want you to tell it, anybody this boner, but we may do that. There's a very specific reason that we may do that. Um, but we'll, we'll worry about that bridge when we get there uh, in the encounter rate. It's going crazy. Oh, and a surprise attack uh, is not you being surprised. It is you getting an extra turn on the enemy. Yeah, because if you get surprised, the enemy will just go and attack you. Yeah, you there's, there's no indication to it other than you starting a fight and getting your ass beat immediately. And it's some of the later dungeons. You don't want that happening, but it's 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 gonna happen. Yeah, and running from fights, even though we haven't tried to yet. Um, it's actually pretty reliable. Real, it's 
except when you really, really need to get away. <laughs> I've never really had a problem uh, with running away in this game. Uh, it's always been pretty reliable for me. Well, you must have been playing a hacked version. I must have. You're right. That day one cartridge that I got, super hacked. Um, and here's an empty room. What do you think of that? I mean, pretty rad, huh? Admire the pretty water, I guess. Yes, let's admire the pretty waiter. Oh no! That's a bummer. I don't want you dying right now. He's, he's okay. You can use that fancy cane trick. Well, he can't now because he's just into the battle. Um, I'm going to use that fancy monomate trick. Or, no, I'm going to use that fancy uh, heal yourself trick. Fuck yourself. Heal yourself. There you go. Ah. Uh. What? References. He has a sprite like from the side there. He kind of looks like E Man. It, I don't know. It's, it's weird. My friend Roger thinks that like all the all the sprites in Fantasy Star Four look kind of like toothpicks. What? He thinks they look like toothpick people. They look like plush dolls. Well, from the front. I mean, maybe from the side. I, no, not even from the side. I think, I think that like he's just a big. Final Fantasy fanboy, basically, is what it boils down to. Yeah, but, okay, to be fair, like, those, um, those stylized renditions of the Final Fantasy sprites that were, like, used on the PlayStation releases or whatever. Those were actually, uh, like, used for the original, um, game box arts in some instances, I think. Were they? I think so. I don't think that those were made just for the PS1 version. Where they're all, like, gradiented and shit, and it's just, like, they, they just look like Fucked up beanhead people. Yeah, I think that those existed before. There's a slick 300 Meseta that'll do us some good. You always seem to, like, find um, as much Meseta in the dungeons after Atlas extorts money yes. from Han. <laughs> yeah, it's always the same amount, it seems. Good music here, by the way. Well, this game's got great music all around, honestly. It really does. We haven't really been talking about it. Of course, I can't hear it, but... But I... you know it by heart at this point, I'm sure. Y yes. <laughs> it's like, even just like looking at these visuals, I hear it in my head. So we're gonna go ahead, drop a save here. We're gonna be getting some good music coming up. I mean, oh, yeah. A straight-up hoedown. Yep, it's good stuff. Uh, but that'll happen next episode. Isn't that right, Boner? Hamburger, Boner, you're good. Can see? You're looking for life advice. Come to this guy. <laughs>